Speaking of top tens, Chad McCombie solidly in the top ten in the eighth spot. He's with Ray Dunlap. I tell you, Rick, I feel like Jim Cantore down here fighting the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the Weather Channel. It's yeah. blowing me sideways. Hey, what a great run you guys have going today. Are you uh, satisfied with an eighth place? You know, given the circumstances, I'll take it. You know, we, we unfortunately had a bad stop the first stop of Saturday, and uh, that got us a little bit behind. And we've been able to rebound. We were able to drive back up through there and get up in the top five, top ten. But uh, these guys on GPSStore.com, Garmin, Chevrolet crew have done a good job. I mean, they've rebounded, gave me some good pit stops here the rest of the day today and you know i think we've got a better truck than eighth place but uh you know i don't know you, all, you always want to race and finish these things and uh we took a gamble we got two tires there and uh, to make sure that we you know we were going to have some track position and it seems like it's hurt the truck just a little bit but we've got the track position and that seems to mean a lot here over the course of the race okay good job appreciate that let's check back in with adam who have you found and for some folks ray it's baby steps towards success and that's been the key for this 13 punch johnny Sauter running ninth and you guys seem to make improvements every week yeah i mean we've had good trucks all year just uh our fun sand chevrolet has been really good just had some bad luck, things we couldn't control, but uh, I, I hate for this race to get rained out because I feel like we're a lot better now than we have been all day. And um, I don't know. It's uh, just a pleasure to drive for Duke around to Thorson and all the guys at Kerr Records and, and Fun Sand. Just, uh, I'm glad to be here. I'm glad we're racing. This team, no doubt, making tons of progress, and uh, Jason Overstreet as the crew chief really feels good about where this program is going. Hey, no, wait a minute. I'm just kidding. Come back here. Oh, you said two minutes. No, break. I said we're not going to take a break yet because we want to talk to Colin Brown. Six truck is in sixth position. How's your truck today and overall for the weekend? Well, you know, overall we started out, I think, pretty good off the truck. My crew chief, Mike Bean, did a good job with our starting setup. And, uh, you know, these guys have been working really hard back in the shop. We've obviously had some pretty average runs here the last three races and just trying to get ourselves back out of the points, uh, you know, back in the points. And, uh, the guy's been doing a great job back at the shop in the body shop putting these trucks back together for us. So I really appreciate that. And, uh, you know, so far today, in clean air, I think our truck's pretty fast. Um, you know, it seems like we could just get tight when you run behind guys. It's challenging to pass here, but luckily we got good power from our Roush 8's engine. And I think if we can get some clean air and get back racing, our, our strategy is going to work out. You know, obviously we came down pit road there out of uh, second or third, and, and uh, we're expecting or hoping it to go for a little longer on the green flag run there. And obviously the rain kind of put a damper in that. Now, you guys have nice uniforms, hats, and everything. Do you have Conway jackets? I wish I had a Conway jacket with me. We do. They're back in the truck, so okay. they're keeping the truck nice and warm. We'll have Lori bring you one and me one, too, okay? Good job. Colin Brown certainly running in sixth in truck number six. Yeah, guys? Colin started out, Ray, with a top ten finish at Daytona. Then it really went south. He has not had anything better than a 20th place finish since then. So this uh, sixth place run he's got going right now will really get that team started in the right direction. Trucks covered up once again at Kansas Speedway. We're under a red flag condition for the second time in this race, the second time in three days. Brian Eichler still sitting in his number 51 Mikasuki Toyota Tundra. Side-by-side -side racing. You bump on the wall as they go around the mile-and-a-half racetrack. And once again, rain has brought out the caution and the red flag. Once again, under a rain delay situation at Kansas Speedway for the Camping World Truck Series. The O'Reilly Auto Parts 250 presented on speed by World of Warcraft. Slowed once again as the crews put the covers on the race trucks, parked them on pit road. Now, if this were to be the end of the race, the last time there was a race that was rain shortened was back in 2001 a Darlington race back in May that was rain shortened that was the last time we have had a rain shortened race in the Camping World Truck Series looks like Brian Eichler is ready to chat with Adam Adam and uh, he may look comfortable in the truck but he's a long way from Southern California at least weather wise your debut this weekend in the Truck Series running fifth and it looks like that's where you'll finish I'd guess you would have taken that at the start of the weekend yeah, absolutely. Everything we've overcome, this whole Mikasuki team has done such a good job on pit road, uh, keeping me up here in the front. Uh, right there at the end, you know, free as fast. We just got just dead sideways. You know, we're so free right now. So uh, good learning experience. We'll, uh, we'll move on from here and see what happens. What's the next step for you from a learning standpoint? Because there were times on the radio where you sounded like you knew exactly what was going on, and there were other times you were a little bit hesitant. Definitely. All these radial tires, these trucks, the plates you run on them, I've 
there's so much learning. I've got great mentors, though, so sometimes you know what you want, and sometimes it's got to come up and say, I've got no idea. <laughs> I think Kyle Busch has found a good one. Eichler fifth right now. Yeah, there's not often that he doesn't have any idea. We've seen him run, race a lot. You know, the Toyota All-Star Showdown in January, he really had the best car. It looked like he may have the car to win and got taken out in an accident not of his making. Ron that Hornaday kept him out of him a little bit. Well, there. a little bit. Yeah, that, that kept him out of it. And right now, Ron Hornaday is the guy running right in front of him in the fourth <laughs> yeah. position. Yeah, top five spot for Brian Eichler, though. It would be an impressive run if it were to end this way. Again, Mike Skinner up in front of the field. Johnny Benson running second. Brian Scott. Ron Hornaday, Brian Eichler are our top five. We've talked a lot about Brian Scott. Let's talk to him. He's with Adam. And this would be his third, or his best finish of the season in the third and first top five. I tell you what, this team in recent weeks has really taken some steps. Yeah, I'm really proud of everybody on our Albertsons Toyota Tundra. We've, uh, we've been running really good. Our results haven't shown just how good we've ran this year. Um, fortunately, I think we're sitting where we need to be right now for this race and how good we are. We should be always running in the top five. Um, I, man, I just want to get this race, and I feel like we're the best truck on the long run. And I know we can. Uh, I know we're better than the one. I feel like we're better than the five. I just hope uh, this rain stops. It warms up a little bit, and we can go back racing. The rain may stop, but I don't think it's going to warm up anytime soon. And and let's talk about the fact that you're having success here because you ended last year on the mile and a half at Homestead, second running so solid today. And this is where we run the majority of our races. What kind of a confidence builder is this for the team? Well, I think that our team is the best out there on a mile and a half. Jeff Hensley definitely knows the mile and a half. We finished really strong at Homestead. That was a huge confidence booster for me because it was uh, our Achilles heel up through the middle of the year last year. We just could not figure it out, could not figure it out. Made a crew chief change, switched to Toyota. Everything really started firing on all cylinders, and we really picked up our program here. I don't feel like we really have a weakness. You know, We're good on the super speedways, we're good on the mile and a half, and we're good on the flat tracks and short tracks. You take out the fact that this team had an issue at California finishing outside the top 25, and they'd be right at the front of the standings. Hey, Phil Parsons. Yes, sir. You know, <laughs> we've been... <laughs> Is it cold, Ray? <laughs> we've been racing for a long time, you and I together, especially on this truck series, but I have to tell you something. The hottest day I've ever experienced in my life was at Topeka, Kansas, which is 30 miles from here. And I think right now this may be the coldest day I've ever spent at a racetrack. So Kansas is number one on the list for both <laughs> hot and cold races. Oh, my goodness. It is. Um, I, did Hornaday win that? I, I don't know. I remember I re that weekend because I was in St. Louis yeah. running a, running oh. a bush race. And, and the that track was, came apart. That track, and that was the hottest I'd ever been at a racetrack. And you were, I know Topeka had very similar weather, and you guys were running a truck race there. Uh, Joe Rutman drove out through the field for about six or seven minutes, and when he came in, we asked him where he was, and he says, I don't know, Mom, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> it was really, really hot. But Ray, cold you look cold. Here. You look hey, cold. And, and you know what, guys, let me real quickly, I want to show you out here. This is Eric Phillips. You know, we just talked to him for a moment ago. The crew chief on this truck and I think it's interesting when you look back at his career if they do call this race this will be the fourth different driver that Eric Phillips has won with you remember he got Travis Quapple a win he won with Dennis Setzer in this series and also with Clint Boyer so Skinner would be driver number four for Eric Phillips if this thing becomes official and those have been memories with Ray and Phil of the truck series <laughs> We have fun. Obviously, we have to have fun in a situation like this. They've been trying to get this race completed for three days now. It started on Saturday. We waited through Sunday, tried to get it underway again on Monday. We've waited a long time. We have completed quite a few laps. Obviously, 132 are in the books now, but we're still 35 short of a complete race. Some of us have been here almost 45, 48 hours trying to get this race in. <laughs> it's been a long time. The radar, as you can see, there's moisture to the north and moisture to the south. It looks like there's a, just an area here where it's not raining, but it actually is spitting here on the racetrack. And in the Who's area, that's, that's why well, <laughs> moisture. Oh, oh, moisture. All right. It, uh, it's the situation that we're in where NASCAR has decided it's unsafe for the trucks to be racing on the track. And we heard from the guys in first and second, Mike Skinner and Johnny Benson, both said, you know, it was scary out on the racetrack. And so a good decision 
to pull the trucks off the track. And you can see the light gray behind the jet dryer and all around it. It's darker, and that's because the moisture is on the track. So there is significant moisture on the racetrack, and if this is the case, it's going to take quite a while to dry this track once again. Yeah, well, it's plenty windy now, so that, that will certainly help. This morning when they were trying to dry the track, we had virtually no wind, and right. it, it wasn't helping, but it's plenty windy enough right now. But obviously the cold temperatures don't help the situation. Right.